Hey, good morning class. I just wanted to uh, do a short tutorial video on how to use Desmos graphing calculator online to be able to locate uh, intervals of increase and decrease and also um, locating maximums and minimums relative extrema. So let's uh, jump into it. We're going to go to our Desmos graphing calculator. So we need to pull that up first. So if you go to your browser and type in desmos.com and hit return, it should come up with this screen. And then you just click on the big red start graphing button. Now, I do want to say if you live in certain states that are currently allowing the use of Desmos on your end of course test, then you're going to probably want to use that version of the software. There are certain limitations uh, on the testing versions that are not found on the actual Desmos graphing calculator or the regular version. So make sure you're using the correct version for your state. Um, so right now I just want to type in a function and it doesn't matter like which function we're just uh, picking one so we're gonna say uh, let's do I don't know, I'll do 0 0.5 we do x uh, minus uh, 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 4 okay and I want to zoom out a little bit. And I think what I might actually do is come up here and just scale this down a bit. Okay. And I don't like that scale either. So how about that? And then we'll just zoom out a bit on this graph. If you have a scroll mouse, you just scroll, move your cow up, your cows. Move your mouse over the graph and just scroll down and it will zoom out on the graph. So this is our function. It is a cubic function. And if I'm trying to locate the local maximum and local minimum, then for Desmos it's rather easy. Um, all we do is go here and click on our graph. And notice how these little gray dots appear at different locations. So we can determine just about anything we need off of this graph. Um, so if I'm looking for a local maximum, that would be uh, this region right here. And the maximum value is found by just clicking on that value. And so we see that our local maximum occurs at a Y value of 9.851. And if you're asked to write the coordinate for your answer, then that's what you would want to put. The negative 1.6 comma... 9.8 and if I want the local minimum then we just come down here and that would be this part of the graph and I'm going to click on that and we have a 4.2 comma negative 4.9 if we're rounding to the first decimal place um, I do like that about Desmos it at least gives you three decimal places which I tend to like anyways but these are your local maximum and local minimum. Now, because this function continues on to infinity as you move to larger and larger x values, there is no absolute maximum. And because this function continues to a negative infinity uh, forever and ever as you, x becomes more negative, then you don't have an absolute minimum either. So you only have two local extrema here. Now, if I wanted to write um, the intervals of increase and decrease here, then what I want to do is I'm going to come over here to the whiteboard and we are going to write down these two coordinates. Okay, so negative 1.57, 9.85. So we found a local. Max, and that was at <laughs> getting old, negative 1.57, 9.85. 
so negative 1.57 comma 9.85 and we found a local minimum and what was that coordinate that would be 4.24 negative 4.87 so 4.24 negative 4 point I think it was 8 7 and we'll double check that yes that's correct so now we want to be able to write the interval whether where, where this function is increasing and decreasing and to do that we want to analyze the graph okay so as I'm moving from left to right and anytime you're looking for periods of increase and decrease you want to read your graph from left to right okay always so if I start on the left side of my graph and I start uh, going along my curve I can see that I'm moving up so the function is increasing until I get to this local maximum so my interval for uh, this function to be increasing at least the first portion is going to be from down here which continues on to negative infinity so we're going to say it starts at a negative infinity so we're going to come up here and we're going to say uh, the function is increasing and it is an open interval so we use parentheses sorry about that guys um, we get a negative infinity up to the x value of our local extreme, our local maximum, which is a negative 1.57, okay? And then we go back to our graph. And as I'm continuing from this point, so this is our new start point, and I move towards the right and follow my curve I can see that I'm moving downward okay so we're moving downward until I get to my local minimum value so if we go back over to our whiteboard okay then we're gonna say that this function is decreasing and that is on the open interval where we left off was negative 1.57 and it goes up to the x value of our local minimum which was 4.24 okay now again these look similar <laughs> to these up here but remember these for local max and min are actual coordinates they're ordered pairs x comma y but these are interval notation they're not ordered pairs they're stating an interval of x values on which the function is increasing or decreasing now we have one more section of our graph to examine and that's moving from this point where we left off and i continue moving right and i'm following my curve and i can see that i'm moving up and that upward motion continues forever and ever on to infinity so if I come over here then I can say that the function is also increasing on the interval where we left off was 4.24 and again this is an open interval and it continues to a positive infinity so that is how we determine our intervals of increase and decrease and also our local min and max okay so I hope this is helpful as you guys work on problems like this. And it was nice uh, working with you today and talk to you later. So until next time, bye-bye.